I guess this is the point charges in one dimension. Um, we have two charges, one is negative, one is positive, and there is the distance between them. So the first question is asking, they want to they want to know the force that charge one exerts on charge two. Okay, and if you so since they want one on two, so we'll make charge one stand still, and this guy can move. So if this is standing still, and this spot negative and this is positive, then it's going to be attraction force, right? So it's going to go in this direction, and we're saying that. Uh, this is the y, this is the x, x coordinates, okay? So it's going in the um, negative x, okay? So just plug in your numbers, k, q1, q2, and over x2 squared. Make sure you change this to um, meters, okay? And this guy, you'll have a value here, and it's going to be going in the x negative direction, okay? All right, so question number two is they got a charge that is, um, they moved Q2 and moved it up here, okay? So now this is the distance between them. Now this guy is not here. Q2 is here now. So Q2 is here. Okay. So it's basically the same thing. They want to F1, 2, but they want the x direction. Here they want the same, the x direction too, but the whole force is in the x direction. So we didn't need to do the cosine thing. But here, um, if you make this standstill and this guy is going to be affected by the force, it's going to come like kind of this way. Okay, it should come like here. Okay. So this this force has y and x component. So let's so this is the x and this is the y and this is the y here. Okay. So this angle here is the same angle as here. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we just we just do the cosine of theta times the force that we got here, and then we'll get the um, the force in the x direction. So we'll do the same thing. K, Q1, Q2 divided by, this distance will be R squared. And to get this guy, um, we got from here to here, right? And we got this guy from here to here. All right, so just use the Pythagoras. So X2 squared plus, I'll call this Y. So this is Y2 squared equal the R squared, okay? So we'll get to your R from this equation here. And because they want in the x direction, so we'll do the cosine of theta. And the cosine of theta is the same as, so cosine of theta is the same as x2 divided by r. Okay? So just multiply this thing by um, x2 divided by r, or you, you can find the theta okay, by doing the cosine inverse and just multiply it again here. And this force will be also in the x negative direction. You can see here it's going this way. So part of it is going in the y negative, and the other part is going in the x negative direction. <coughs> Question number three. Um, let me look. They now they got. I'll draw this guy here again. Um, So they got um, another charge in be in between. They called it Q3. So this guy is Q1, Q2. And this guy was negative. This guy was positive. All right, and they put it in the middle between those two. Okay. So they gave us that the total force, net force on. Um, F2 on this guy, the F net, well, F net on 2 is equal to some value, okay? And I'll call it um, F. And so this is the net force on 2, okay? 
So let's 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 find the net force on let's find the charge because we have the force. So the force here will be equal to um since it's going away when when you read the question they told us that the the force is going away from these two charges, okay? So that must make this charge positive because the total force net force is going away from both so it's going this way okay that m must make this positive charge all right um yeah let's work this now <coughs> So the force, the total net force on this guy is equal to um, K Q3 Q2 divided by, we said that the total thing is R, right? And it's in between. So you'll do R divided by 2 and then square this guy. And since this is going in the opposite direction, it's going to be negative. Um, K, Q1, Q2 divided by R squared. Alright. So we need to find the Q3, right? So let's take the um, common factor here. Q, K, Q2. Okay. Divided by... No, I'll just keep it like this. Okay, so KQ2, and then you'll do um, Q3 divided by R over 2 squared minus Q1 divided by R squared. And this thing is, the whole thing is equal to K, and to equal to, to the force, total force. All right. So this is just algebra now because we only need to find this guy. Are we finding this guy? No, we're finding this guy. That's what we're trying to find. So the R is um, known. Q is known. The F is known. Yeah. So just use algebra to find this now. And then the um, last question, number four. Um... Oh no, there's number five too. Um, how would you change Q1? How would you change Q1 to make the the force on Q2 equal to zero? And keeping those two fixed, um, we need to increase the magnitude of this guy and keep it the same um, sign. Okay. Uh, for number five, let me read this one. How would you change Q3? How would you change Q3? Um, keeping Q1 and Q2 fixed to make the net force on Q2 equal to zero. And then the answer is for this guy, you need to degree to the magnitude and keep the sign the same. Cool? All right, guys. Hope this helped. Good luck.